to a new video. In today's video, I've got some new decals to show you. Um, however, I am just going to first clean the back of my phone first. <laughs> we can see! Okay, so Karen has just released these two new sets of decals that have a gothic style for Halloween. You've got the black roses and the like lacy butterfly style ones. Also, I just wanted to let you know that these four lots of decals have been resized. So originally, some of the images on the decals were quite big. Karen has resized them to fit onto smaller nails now. So if you buy them from the website, this is what they will look like when they arrive. So for this set of nails, we're just going to do a quick set of nails today. This one is Madame Glam's Perfect White. Um, by the way, you can save 10% on the, the nail sugar decals using my code NATMUG10. And also you can save 30% on Madame Glam gel polishes using my code NATMUG30. We better just get that in there somewhere. <laughs> right, I'm going to apply one coat of white to two nails. And then I'm going to cure them in the lamp for 30 seconds. I've got my stamper ready. And I'm going to cut out two of the same size decals. And I will cut away the excess from around the decals also so that it's mostly just the design then that will go upside down on our stamper and then just using a little bit of water i'm going to just dab that onto the back of the decal the decal will soak up the water and after about 15 seconds the back in is just going to slide off and you are ready to stamp this decal onto your nail. I just dab over it with my finger just to get off any excess water. I I've, I think once upon a time, it, it's only happened once, I didn't dab it. And I think because there was water left on it, it didn't want to stick to the nail. So I always make sure that I just dab off the excess water. So I've stamped it on to my nail. I'm going to just cut off. There was a little bit hanging off the side. I'm just going to, there we go, snip that off. And then I'm going to do the same on the second nail. So over the top of this, um, Karen has done a set, but she used um, black instead of purple. This is Viva Las Vegas and it is a jelly purple. Um, Karen actually went over the nail with base coat before she went over with the colour. I She did tell me about that and I was going to do it, but I totally forgot. I, well, I didn't forget. I misread what she said. But anyway, it doesn't matter. You... But if you go over with base coat, it would just sort of protect the decals before you go over with the colour. But I didn't have any issues. So, yeah. Um, two coats of purple I done because I wanted it a slightly darker purple. And then here I've wiped off the tacky layer because I was going to add the black gel paint before I top coated. But then I decided to do it after I top coated. So here I'm using Madame Glam's Velvet Matte Top Coat, which in my opinion is the most amazing velvet, velvet matte top coat in the whole wide world. <laughs> and breathe. Now I'm going to take the... That's my dog. Billy! He's such a pickle. Hang on a sec. If we lived in a house, I wouldn't mind so much him having a little bark at people outside. But because we live in we live in flats, so we live in like the middle flat, um, I just don't want his barking to like pee off the neighbours. So anyway, uh, right, I've gone around the whole nail and made a black border. I do make it slightly thicker before I cure it. And I've done that on both of the nails. And now I want to use this black cherry glitter because it's blooming gorgeous. By the way, the gel paints need 60 seconds in a lamp, not 30. The gel polishes need 30. The gel paints need 60. For the base colour of the glitter, I'm going to use perfect black because I want the glitter to show up darker. Um, if you'd done this on like a purple, it probably would appear a little bit brighter. But because we're going with that kind of gothic feel, um, we, yeah, we're, we're going to do it into the black. And I'm burnishing it in. And it's going to, what's going to happen is the glitter will stick to the tacky layer and it will just be nice and flat on the nail. And then we can top coat. So I want this shiny because this is a hollow glitter. So we're going to use the Madame Glam's no wipe top coat i did put a little bit too much top coat on the top but anyway look this is it <coughs> excuse me this is it isn't that just the most amazing color oh i love it so much oh it's got such a sparkle to it as well 
Right, moving on for the last nail, I'm going to do two coats of a perfect black. Oh, I've got a bit of gas. I've just had some cherry Pepsi Max, which I shouldn't drink, but I do. Uh, I only have, I have, I have 500 mils in the morning of cherry Pepsi Max. Anyway, look, shut up, Nats. Right, two coats of black, one coat of velvet matte top coat, curing the lamp for 30 seconds. These are Zodiac Blue Violet Crystals from Crystal Parade. They kindly sent me some. Uh, now, I am, oh, I love, I love Preciosa, but Zodiac are a very affordable brand of crystal. They just, they're not quite, the bigger ones are quite good because the facets seem to sparkle a lot more than the smaller ones. I'm not quite sure what it is. Anyway, if you don't want to spend lots, but you do want a bit of sparkle, Zodiac would be a great line for you. A great line of crystals, a great range of crystals. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, um... Yeah, and you can save 10% using my code NATMUG10 on Crystal Parade. So you'll save even more money on them, which is great. Um, yeah, so the idea on this now was initially I was like, oh, I'm just going to do a crystal cuff because I don't know what else to do. And then I was like, no, you can't just do a crystal cuff, Nats, because I'm sure the last few couple of nails I've just done crystal cuffs. Maybe I haven't, but I don't know. I just feel like I've done a lot lately. So I added some more gem glue or crystal fix and i thought right we're gonna do a widow's peak you know the hairline when your hair points down it's gonna go it's gonna go down to a point not so much a triangle but more like a curve oh but does it look like a i don't know anyway we're gonna fill these this in with with crystals and then i will pop these in the lamp for 60 seconds okay now I thought I would just incorporate a little bit more purple onto this nail using Madame Glam's purple gel paint and it's a bit annoying because you can't really see very well what I'm doing on the black background but where the crystals point down I've done a little drip and then I'm going to do a drip on the left hand side and I'm going to do a drip on the right hand side hang on right hand side first and then left hand side and again the gel paints will need a 60 second cure i'm not quite sure yeah i just thought it added something to the i don't know there we go <laughs> oh. it's so hard to see it can you see it turn up your brightness <laughs> anyway that is them finished i'll show you a close-up here we go Ta -da! i hope you like them if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing that way you won't miss any future content make sure you hit that notification bell links and discount codes will be below so that you can go and have a look on nail sugar and madam glam and crystal parade's website god bless love you all and i will see you in the next one love you bye